In today's video, join me for an all day clean with me. And as always friends, that doesn't mean I cleaned all day long. It just means that today's activities took me all day to complete. It's a hodgepodge of daily cleaning and homemaking, including laundry, cleaning the kitchen, getting dinner in the Instapot, getting my fall tubs back up in the attic, cleaning the living room, and getting some yummy banana bread made for snacking. So pop my video on your TV, tablet, or phone and clean along with me, or sit back and relax with your favorite drink and stockpile this cleaning motivation for future use. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like my video, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and click that bell notification for more inspiring motivational videos. Let's be friends on Instagram too. You can find me at at home with Elizabeth. All right, friends, it is about 7.20 in the morning. Um, my kids have all gone to school. My husband is probably in the shower getting ready to go for work. And I am down here in our basement and getting laundry in the washer and getting it sorted. Um, these are my youngest son's clothes that I'm sorting out right now. And friends, you're gonna see me lean back every once in a while like you just saw that. The pups will not come down the basement stairs. Still, they're almost seven months old. And so I am, I do everything to try and coax them, to, to coax them down. So whenever I'm down here, you will see me lean back, you'll see me turn around and it, like it's pausing, like I'm not doing anything, but I'm trying to encourage the dogs to come down the steps. If you have any tricks on how to get dogs to come down steps, leave them for me in the comment because I am, I am so anxious to get them to come down these steps. Also friends, it's gonna look like I wear three different outfits today. I don't, so again, this is seven in the morning and it's cold here now in the Northeast. So of course I have my leggings, a tank top on under that sweatshirt that says yawn. So uh, eventually here, I got a little warm, so I took my sweatshirt off. And then eventually, halfway through the video, you'll see that I take my leggings off and I put shorts on. So yeah, it's not that it was a different day, it was just different outfits for the same day. All right, so these were towels and I believe my middle son's clothes in this clothes basket that I brought upstairs to get folded. Um, they've been sitting in, the towels were sitting in my laundry room since Friday and my old middle son's clothes were sitting in there since yesterday because Monday is his day and this was filmed on a Tuesday. But I wanna welcome you or welcome you back to my channel if you're new around here, my name's Elizabeth. I'm a wife and stay-at-home mom to seven adult slash teenage children. I have two girls, age 26 and 22, that live outside the home. I have three boys, age 19, 16, and almost 15. He'll be 15 on the 21st of this month. Uh, my 16-year-old and 14-year-old live here at home. My 19-year-old is in his sophomore year of college, so he is gone for about nine months out of the year. And I'm an auntie to two additional teenage boys, 15-year-old twins. They're my nephews that I got custody of a few years ago. On my channel, you're going to find lots of real life. You'll find real life cleaning, real life homemaking. You'll find real life ups and downs, highs and lows. You'll find a lot of real life comedy. It's not so much now that my boys are back in school, um, but if you are new here and you go back and watch some of my older videos, especially like over the summer months when my boys are home full time, um, they make many appearances in my videos and we just, we have very unique relationships. Um, you'll also find a little bit of decor. You'll find a little bit of like organization and declutter. Not a ton because we just moved into this house. So not a lot of that happens. But if you're interested in stuff like that, if you need motivation and inspiration on everyday cleaning, everyday homemaking, um, I would love for you to join my community here and stick around with us. 
All right, we are just moving into my middle son's room and I am going to get his clothes hung up. These are his pants and his shorts. Um, I will leave his stuff in his clothes basket for him to put away. Um, these are actually clothes from last week that he did not put away. They're clean, so yeah, he got yelled at about that. And then I gather his hangers and I'm gonna eventually take them downstairs. And friends, this type of video is a good glimpse into a perfect day for me. Um, I try and make this like a daily, like this is what I do on a daily. Um, but you know, when I get up and I get my boys off, I always get my laundry started first. Get it started, get yesterday stuff put away, and then I do move up here into my kitchen and start getting it clean. Um, Cause those are the most um, abundant things in our house and um, a messy kitchen because we eat breakfast we don't eat lunch now during the school year and then we eat dinner um, and then laundry you know there are four teenage boys and two adults in this house so we have a lot of laundry so those are always my goals to get done every day um, but like I said this is kind of how I hope my days goes as I do homemaking and cleaning like intermittent um, and believe me friends like I said this takes me all day because I do take breaks I sit down and I play on my phone I sit down and I get on my computer I sit down and I play with my pups I take my pups for a walk yeah I, like I don't clean all day but like all day it takes me like I need all day to clean and get things done if that makes sense um that's just that's just how I've always worked. Um, I've never been able just to put my head down and clean. Um, it's either because I've had small kids or as my kids got bigger, we had things to do. So, like I said, this is, edited videos are very um, misleading. So, you know, I told you I started my day at, it was about 7.20 in the morning. The last couple minutes of this video when you watch me i'm going to be in my youngest son's room with him putting his clothes away it's 5 30 at night so yeah so while it may look like this is 30 minutes of me cleaning and doing stuff it's not it was literally hours and hours and hours of just cleaning a little bit homemaking a little bit playing on my phone blah 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 all right <sighs> all that long-winded to explain that to you friends as i was being so long-winded i finished my dishwasher and now i scrubbed my sink washing some of my hand wash dishes and I'm going to then scrub the sink also if you can hear that cackling that is my middle son <laughs> my room butts up right to his because I'm doing this video voiceover on Sunday the day before the video goes out and everyone's home and he's in there playing video games with his friends so he is cackling And all I'm using in this video in my kitchen here to clean is I use Dawn Platinum to wash my dishes and scrub a little bit of my sink. I use the Barkeeper's Friend liquid to scrub my sinks out. And I am using the Acorn Spice, the Mrs. Myers All Purpose Cleaner Acorn Spice to clean everything else and just a microfiber cloth. And that was a terrible shot, but I was showing you that there was just soap ring on my little um, riser there that I keep my stuff on, which by the way, I am loving. It makes my counter feel so much better. Like you think it would make it feel more cluttered because that's a kind of a big riser, but it doesn't because all those things would get strewn across my um, counter and it would make it look more cluttered. So it actually makes it look less cluttered, even though that's a big riser. Mm -hmm. 
All right, friends, these are just strawberries that I bought on Sunday when I grocery shopped, and I just needed to wash them and then get them cut and get them in my little container here. You guys already eat them up. And yes, friends, what happened is I soaked my strawberries and then I put them on those really thick um, tea towels I have right there to let them dry. And I had wrapped them up and pushed them to the back, the middle of my island, but my pups still got up there <laughs> and they were eating some of my strawberries. Little stinkers? Um, I don't think they got too many. They got probably a handful of strawberries. So that was my whole how many strawberries did you eat of mine routine with the dogs. All right, we are just getting the stove scrubbed and I used my Mrs. Myers to get all the grease up. And then I used my um, Wyman's glass top cleaner, luckily cream cleaner, to buff it up. And now I'm just using my razor blade. There was a few spots that needed scraped up. All right, we're back down in the basement. There I was just putting um, some hand towels that I folded that go in my younger son's bathroom down here. And then those are my nephew's clothes that I just got out of the dryer. And these are my younger son's clothes that I'm getting out of the washer and putting in the dryer. And then I'm gonna hang some up and then I'm gonna get his second load into the washer. And both of these racks that I use are both from Walmart. Um, the one I hang up like shirts and pants on and the other one I hang like sweatshirts on because they're um, like heavier. I don't like to hang them on the, the, the other rack. Now we're back up in the kitchen and we're gonna finish cleaning. Um, and normally why this is broken up like this is I have to um, set a timer for myself or like I would forget about my laundry because I would just be so focused on cleaning. So that is why there is the back and forth and that's why I show it, like I don't group it all together um, because that's not how my day goes. My day is very back and forth. All right, we're at my, my fridge because it was so filthy. Um, and I didn't even get out my Wyman's, I am just using my Mrs. Myers to get all the suck on gunk off of it. And I'm not gonna show you close up because it's kind of streaky, but that's okay. I just wanted the junk off of it. Same with my dishwasher here. And I swear that I cleaned my trash can because I remember getting out my spick and span, but for some reason it didn't tape. So I don't know if I lost it or I don't know if I forgot to hit play, whatever. All right, this is my Ninja Foodie, like seven in one Instapot. And I am putting chicken breast in it. And I made up a sauce. It's, the recipe's called Crack Chicken. It's basically vinegar, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, a little bit of hot sauce, garlic, salt and pepper. And so you put the breasts in and then you pour this sauce over it and you cook it on either high for four hours or low for six hours. So I do the low, there's the sauce that I pre-made. And then you serve it on buns and you're actually supposed to put coleslaw on top of it. My husband does, but everyone else only eats coleslaw on the side of it. Mm -hmm. 
And then here's the coleslaw I make. I'm all about convenience. So this is a bagged coleslaw from Aldi's. And I buy the Marzetti coleslaw sauce from Walmart. And I'm getting it just in a Tupperware dish so that it can get nice and juicy during the day. course I had to taste test it had to make sure it wasn't poison all right we're starting on this other side of the kitchen which is our dining area I'm just clearing off the table and I'm using um, a pump of Dawn Platinum in my bowl here with as hot as water as I can stand with my hands and I'm just wiping it down I'm gonna wipe the top and I'm gonna flip my I'm gonna wipe my benches too and then I'm gonna flip them up and wipe the legs and stuff too and I do show you the water because my table was extra dirty today right there that is our I think you'll see it later in the video that's our gate that we've always always had between the living room and the kitchen we have finally taken it down <laughs> we finally feel like we don't need it anymore although it's only made it into my bedroom where it needs to make it up to the attic so but progress friends right not perfection See that filthy dirty water? Ugh. I think it's been a while since I washed my table down. Um, all right, now we're just getting the dogs, the things up on the top of the table. I actually put them like on the underside of that bench and actually set them on the table. Um, and we have my Tyneco uh, S5 wet dry mop. Um, I'm still loving it, friends, still loving it. I actually have been doing some research for when I cleaned the basement. In my last video like I, I mentioned about the grease spots and Bona makes a formula they sell it at Walmart for machines so I meant I should have done it today we grocery shopped I meant to put it on my list but I forgot so maybe if I make it to the store this week I'm going to pick some up it looks like it's about $11 and it's probably around 32 ounces like it's not a giant bottle it looks like a normal size bottle but I'm hoping that it works in the machine, my pine coat, and then it helps with the grease. Because I have a surprise for you guys about why I need it, and I'm gonna talk about it a little later in the video, but it's exciting. So friends, our weather here in the Northeast has been, it's been really weird. Like for the last two weeks, we have been in the 80s during the day. Like there's been a couple days in the last two weeks, like each week that I've had to run our air conditioning because uh, it gets so humid in the house and like the dogs start to pant and stuff like that. But like, I don't ever remember it. 
us having 80 days this late in September. Um, and it's, I am ready for cold now, friends. Um, I love the cold mornings that we're having, but I, I am tired of the hot afternoons. Now, like I said, I'm doing this on Sunday, the Sunday before the video is going live. So it's September 15th. And supposedly this is our last day in the 80s. Um, starting tomorrow, we're supposed to be in the 70s. Now we still will get, there looks like in the next 10 days, there's a day or two that are still gonna be like 78, but we're gonna have a lot more days that are like 72 and 73. And I am here for that, friends. I am tired of the heat. All right, we're just going to finish up this floor right now and I'm moving to, you know, our little tile place here in front of the door and I'm gonna get it mopped real quick before I start on the living room. And the reason I'm gonna do this before I clean the living room is so that I can then go take my time co and get it cleaned. Because friends, there's been once or twice I've forgot and I've actually had to already buy a new roller brush because of one I've left and it got really stinky. All right, so after I clean my mop and stuff like that, we're just getting the dining area here put back together. All right, we're in this living room. We're getting all of these toys picked up. Now, please notice I picked up the toys, put their blankets in their kennels, and I'm gonna get, you know, fix my couch cushions and my pillows, and then I'm gonna get my vacuum, and I'm gonna show you my empty canister, and then I'm going to vacuum my hall, and then when I move back into the living room here, you're gonna see that my pups got the toys out already. Like, really? You're worse than toddlers, kids. Oh, I guess I'm gonna get these tubs up in my attic before I vacuum the hall, that's right. So this is the door outside of our bedroom. Like when I just showed you pushing the tubs, that's our bedroom. And if you turn around, this is the door that goes up to our attic. And look at this cute sign. I found it Dollar, Gener Dollar Tree for $5. I'm gonna put that on my white shelf where um, I have my kids' pictures and my vases. So this is just our attic, so I'm just getting these tubs up here and I just, I put them real close here to the steps so that they'll be easy to get to. Can I tell you how thankful I am that we have full size steps going up to our attic? Like All right, while I was moving my bins there before I opened the door and went up, I noticed that my pumpkin sign fell off. So it was just a generic, it wasn't a 3M hook I had there. I think it was an Aldi's one. So I just need to find a heavier hook, um, like maybe a 3M hook that holds like five pounds and put it on there. Until then, I'm just using that hanger that I used to put on my front door. I don't like it though because it's starting to scrape my like my door frame so I, I need to get that 3m the stronger 3m hook all right now we are in this hallway getting this carpet vacuumed and friends the exciting bit of news I have to share was I planned on doing this voiceover on the Wednesday after I filmed this and I'm just gonna tell you that the next day which is Thursday my husband was starting four days off Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and we were going to start tearing up our carpet to lay our floor. Well, I didn't get to my video voiceover on Wednesday because life happens. So Thursday morning we woke up and we started ripping our carpet up. They got the kids off to school. And right there, just on the other side of that tile, we started ripping. We pulled back about a foot of carpet and guess what we found? Pristine, original hardwood floors. 
white oak hardwood floors in pristine condition. So friends, my husband and I spent from seven o'clock Thursday morning till about five o'clock Thursday evening. We ripped up all of this carpet in our hallway in our living room. We removed all the staples. We removed, um, I don't know if you've ever seen what they do with carpet, but they nail little small narrow, it's almost like kindling around the edges so that that's what they nail the carpet into. And we have the original hardwood floors now. So in my next video on Thursday, you will see them. Oh, and there's all the dust I swept up from those filthy, dirty carpets. I am looking to not have to sweep up that crap again. So yeah, in Thursday's video, I cannot wait to show you my hardwood floors. All right, we are just getting these front windows cleaned because they had handprints and dog prints and nose prints everywhere. Oh no, I was just showing you I'm using the Great Value Glass Cleaner. Here's the recipe I'm using. It's from my Betty Crocker cookbook that I got for my wedding. It's just the banana bread recipe. Sugar, butter, flour, two eggs, buttermilk, baking soda, salt, vanilla, mushy ripe bananas. Crisco. Disposable aluminum pans. All right, friends, I have been meaning to make banana bread forever. You know how long I've been meaning to make it? Remember my, about three videos ago when we had the bananas that were nice and uh, perfectly ripe? And then the next video, they were very mushy. Yes, those are those bananas, friends. I actually had to mush them and I put them in the freezer since. So that's how long I've been meaning to make banana bread. But I finally did it. Um, and like I said, this is, I'll see if I'll find, I can find the Betty Crocker recipe online and I'll link it down below. But it's just like two cups of flour, a half a cup of sugar, a stick of softened butter, two eggs, teaspoon of vanilla, teaspoon of baking soda. Um, and then I do, you will see, I put, I fill one of the pans and then I add walnuts to the other one and fill the other pan because my one nephew does have a peanut and tree nut allergy. It's not life threatening. He just gets hives, but he has always been very, very consciously aware that he won't even eat anything, even though he knows it'll just kind of give him a rash. Um, so I'm not too worried. Like we don't ever worry about the oils won't hurt him. Like the smell, stuff like that won't hurt him. It, he would actually have to eat a lot of nuts. Um, so I do make one without nuts so that he can enjoy it and anyone else can enjoy it. And then do do one with nuts. But friends, I also, there were so many of those bananas, I actually have another baggie in my freezer with the mushed bananas so I can make another two lobes of bread sometime soon. All right, and we have about three minutes left in this video, and I am back down in the laundry room. I'm getting my youngest son's clothes out of the dryer and putting his second load in the dryer. Gonna hang up the rest of his clothes, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and get my banana bread out, and then we're gonna get back into his room and fold his clothes.
how yummy does that look? It was very yummy. We ate both loaves after dinner. That's how delicious they were. All right, friends, we have about two minutes left, and I'm going to close out this video right now. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for joining me. If you wouldn't mind, can you give me a like, give me a thumbs up? It helps push my videos out in the algorithm. For anyone who is interested in seeing this type of video, who needs this type of cleaning motivation and cleaning inspiration, um, to help them know that they are not alone out there in this world. Um, if you feel inclined, go ahead and drop me a comment. Um, let me know how your day is going. Let me know what you have planned this week. And if you're not subscribed, why the heck not? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then click that bell notification so that you never miss another one of my videos. I release every Monday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And just enjoy a little bit of music here and me and my youngest son folding the rest of his clothes. And I'll catch you in the next video, friends. Bye.